from the Outdoor Show. We'll ride the crest of the waves as we search for angling action. With a focus on key techniques, we'll help you learn the simplest methods for success. So come along with us on our next adventure. It's Tales from the Outdoor Show. With your hosts, Brad Decker and Captain Kevin Faber. Hey folks, welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. You know, everybody has to go through this period in their mm -hmm. life. You gotta turn 40. And lucky for me, when I did, I get to hang out with this Yahoo right over here, my Captain Kevin Favor, on my 40th birthday and do a little bit of fishing. You know, there's a lot of people that like to go fishing on their 40th birthday. No doubt. You know, and, and it was in November, and I actually showed up, kind of surprised you with another good friend of ours, Craig Arnold, yep. who was supposed to be like Joe Fisherman, you know? <laughs> and, and, until that day. Until, until that day, but seriously, it was a day that it was perfect it was november the the redfish were on fire and yeah. we also caught some other fish that you got to check this out because it was just an awesome day of inshore fishing out of st augustine florida Now that's a flounder, folks, right there. <laughs> wow. Congratulations, man. That I'm telling you, that is, that's incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. Eighteen point, eighteen point two one pound flounder. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now just to make him home, feel at home, we need to snag the bottom a couple times, snap the line, get a couple good tangles for him. Exactly. Just to make him feel comfortable. It's not really a day off. Yeah, that would work a little. Otherwise he'll get comfortable. He's gonna go hunt for a few days, and have a seem like work. Guys, the, the penfish have been terrible, so you just kind of have to weed through them. What a gorgeous morning. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you needed to say. He was waiting for me to say I something. Was. He I was. didn't think we had to move. <laughs> he had that fish on. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Tell you what, I don't know. The fish got some size to it, though. He's got the head down. Man. I think you got a big old flatty. After seeing that 18 pounder. You got a net on board, Kevin? Right behind you. That won't be a while before this one's going to see a net. Wow. As soon as Craig starts to complain, yep. they light up. Way to go, Craig. You brought him in, buddy. I did it on purpose. Works every time. Yeah, I know what I see it. He's trying to get in there. That's a big fish. I don't know what it is. Big old red. It sure is. Beauty. <laughs> Beauty. How good are you with the net now? I, you know, I, I've seen you knock a few fish Stop off in your it. time. Gum. I know one thing, he doesn't want to come off that bottom, brother. Cold water. They yeah, they like it, don't they? Sound like a guide. <laughs> easy. easy. I got him. Oh, what was that? What? Wait, man. wait a minute, we may need substitution on the net Did if that's the activity that? we're going to get there. I mean, you know, this bet for first fish, the biggest fish, I mean... I'm <laughs> sorry. He was just shy of hitting a fillet knife on that line. Yeah. What in the world's he doing back there? Come on, buddy. Wow. Change the angle, change the angle. <laughs> Down and dirty, I think is what they call it. Oh, man. I'll put as much pressure on him as I can take. 
Kevin, was it 10 seconds before you hooked up with him? I heard Craig yell, new spot, yeah, new, new spot. spot. Yeah, Craig, you can go to the next well, spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going to drop Craig off at the next spot. Oh, Beautiful yeah. fish. Beautiful nice fish. fish. Ah, that's what we're looking for right There's a there. November redfish. Right, I was fishing. <laughs> Get off the file. You, lost, you lost your ride, brother. You Get lost off, your ride. Get off the file, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a friend's for, huh? <laughs> Awesome. No, no. <laughs> I'm going to let that one. Hey, folks, stay right there. We'll be right back with some more off the hook action from Tales from the Outdoor Show. Let me get out of the frame. <laughs> okay, it's a little, <laughs> it's a little sheep head. It's digital. Is it a no, sheep it's a, head? No, it's a black drum. All right. That's candy right there. We don't need the net on him, do we? I don't think so. Time to turn it on. Right here on top. Got it. Nice. Let me get a picture just in case that's the last fish you catch today. Sap <laughs> sucker. <laughs> One more time. All right, got it. Yeah. I see. I'll just go right there. It'll be fine. All right. Are you tearing the tails off, Kevin? Uh-uh. Maybe that's why the pinner is getting so bad. No. You, you keep doing that. We'll go for redfish. That's yeah. right. You keep catching them pin fish for us, though. <laughs> get that. Get well, that. For Look at him. Stop. Look at get him. Look mouth. at him. <laughs> This is getting sickening. <laughs> uh, we need to go over the sponsorship contract again, Kevin. I think you've forgotten the clause, that little clause that we have at the end that you and I wrote, or that I wrote, that you signed. <laughs> yeah, you, they cracked them right over me. You know, there's, there's no scruples no, right there, brother. No. Look, look at, look, I'm surprised look at a he, spider web out there. I'm surprised he didn't drop an elbow in you yeah, while he's exactly. doing that. Go as far as you can. He's right fighting there. over it. Yeah. Greg, Greg throws he, right at it. Yeah, dude, he threw right at it. Did you see that? <laughs> look, I'm telling you, it looked like a spider web. Uh, Brad told me, dude. You yeah. better watch him in the woods, buddy. You'll shoot a deer and he'll start firing on it. Yeah. <laughs> He's way out there. You want to catch this one? Uh, uh, Brad, you want to reel this one in? It might be the only one to get all day. He's got the bottom hooked. No, 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 no. I'll just stay right where you're at. I'm telling you, throw, Brad, go right there. Across that rip. There you go. Get around that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, get him out of our way. I got him. Got a handle on him. The secret was is that I hooked the pinfish and just dropped him right back down. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another nice redfish. This, this, one, this one's bigger than that one. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now, this one hadn't stopped. I know. Let me know when you need the net. Okay, yeah, thanks. I've seen that show before. Yeah, we fished this dock on the ground. That's right a big feet. fish. That's a big, that, that, that is a, big, a beauty. That's a Butter, big fish. That up is there. a horse. Do you see the tail? That is a beautiful redfish, my friend. You gonna bring him up this side? Um, wherever he wants to go right now. Uh -oh. Do I need to bring the motor up? No. I gotta get back. My rod's right there. Come on, double header, let's go. My next life, you know what I'm gonna do? Be a redfish? I wanna be a guide. <laughs> next flash you're gonna hear, Brad, ain't gonna be the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Take off that flash. Oh, that's funny. Golly. Yeah, that's a 10-pounder there, buddy. 
That. That's one of the biggest reds I've caught in a while. That's gorgeous. Without, without, go, without going outside the jetties to get it, right? <laughs> That's the second fish today you've had to take a picture of somebody else's fish. <laughs> I love it. Brad and I got those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, make yourself comfortable back there, Kevin. Uh, yeah. Here. Well, Kevin, go ahead and pop a beer. Is. Yep. That's a gorgeous fish. They got that. Just a fantastic all-purpose bait that we use quite often are the, the live shrimp that we have. If we're fishing a jig head, we actually penetrate the tail and reverse it and bury it into the belly just a bit. Makes it weedless so it's not catching as much. It makes a nice natural presentation of the shrimp as we fish. When we use a, a Cajun Thunder float like this, you can either use the split shot weight that you see on the inline version we have here, which helps get the bait down in the water uh, a little quicker, present it to the fish in, in, in a little bit deeper water, or not, by not using the split shot, it allows it to float, kind of free swim the, the live bait, whether it be a, a mullet or a sardine or a shrimp in this case that we're using. And it just is a different type of presentation depending on the type of fishing we'll be doing. And then when we're fishing with a float rig, like you see, another option for rigging this then is to keep it as natural as we can, is running the hook just under the horn of the shrimp that you see right here on the head. And just putting the hook right underneath the horn. It's a nice firm place to attach it. And it gives a very nice, natural presentation off the end of that floating rig that you're, that you're producing. I'll keep us on that, that spot. There's some good ones in there, aren't there? Oh my goodness <laughs> sakes, Captain. My goodness. <laughs> yep. Yep, they're in there. I think I'm pulling a dead body day. off the bottom. <laughs> oh. Some things you just never live down, okay? This is not working for me. Please go out and drag 50 gods to do something for me. Craig, do you know what the term Ofer means? <laughs> Have you heard the term Ofer? Yeah. Yeah, Look at that horse. Kevin, he's ready. Wow. This guy looks like a small cobia. <laughs> That's a beauty. That gum. Jetty, jetty reds out here. In the it is. That's, you're exactly right. Yeah. That's like something we pull yeah. outside the rocks to catch. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Got it. Good? Yep. I said I was. It's okay. Dang, that's a pretty good one. Got to go back, too. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful November redfish. On my birthday, there's, that's a 40th birthday present right there. That? You know that? Big, the big 4-0 redfish right there. Within two feet. Look at <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Yes. <laughs> well, Wait till we get you in the woods. It's just going to keep going, you, you, brother. You stuck me on the back of a boat. You're probably going to soak my clothes in gas. Got, got a little theme music. He's got theme music playing. Yeah. Floyd. Can't <laughs> you keep pinching those tails off. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You made my day. <laughs> I don't care how big they are. I close this one, right? <laughs> Brad, my cast landed within two feet of his. Two seconds later. Did you get him to the boat? It's all in presentation, baby. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. How good is that, huh? <laughs> and right when he did it, come on, Bump. We got to get a, a, a double header here. Sheep's head. I'm keeping it right on the bottom. 
Craig, I've caught some killer sheep's head. Very high tide cool. back in the slough. Back back down there where he was going to go first. There's some up in the shallows. Some killer hey, sheep's so, head. So, Brad, let's see. We've caught reds, drum, uh -huh. sheep's head. Uh -huh. Good thing it's you and I catching something. How about something, that? You know? How about that? <laughs> hey, all we got to do is review the keys to all that lost footage. <laughs> Let go. Me catching all the smoke. <laughs> Which didn't make the show. <laughs> be free. We throw a trout and a flounder in there, buddy. Yeah. We'll yeah, be looking good. We, we've yeah. stacked them up. If we had some help. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Craig show. My favorite Craig show you did is the one where you, he says, come on, Mosquito Lagoon is the place. I got to take you guys down there and you and Log I think Logaman went, right? Logaman. Went Logaman. down. And, and it is blowing a gale on Mosquito Lagoon, and Craig's on the back of this flats boat with a pole, and he's trying to pull into that 100 mile an hour wind. We got to the ramp, I said, turn around and go home. And they wouldn't listen to me. Like, oh. uh. It is getting calm. Craig, if it doesn't work out, we'll take you by PetSmart on the way home. We'll buy you one. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll get you goldfish to take home. <laughs> <laughs> All I got to say is don't have high expectations on your next flamingo strip. <laughs> I've told you where to throw it and everything else. I don't know what else I can do. I mean, I will hook one for you let you reel him in. <laughs> Oh, man. It's like we had this plan, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just getting mauled by this literally every cast. <laughs> you better change that jig head out. That stuff we put on it's working. <laughs> hey, folks, don't go anywhere. We got a little bit more from Tales from the Outdoor Show. And when we come back, we'll see if Craig can actually catch a fish. I can only take you to him. <laughs> I can't catch him for you. Boy, he is he is awfully dark. Yeah. Isn't he? <laughs> he is. He is a dark one. Yeah. But buddy, that's, that's a nice what, eating one there. That right right in that slick water right there, guys. Alright. And boy, I mean I'll just let it sit there almost. Let it soak. That's a pretty fish right there. Mmm. I'm not that that may be right at 16, 15. Beautiful. What did they go to I think that's all they've ever been. I thought it was 16, actually. Nice. They're down there. <laughs> that's a better fish, this there. This is a family show. I can't really <laughs> They're down there. Wow, that's a good drum there. Yeah, it is. That's got a little pull to it. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a good one there. That's like we got it. When you can hear him drumming. Yep. Out. Yeah, that's a good fish there. That sucker's heavy. Big old head on him, man. I can't even get my hands around him. It ain't right, it ain't right. <laughs> All right, sap sucker. Well, look at him following him. There's three or four yeah, he's, of them following Oh my gosh, you're right. Did you see that? I saw the tails, yeah. yes. All grown. I've never seen that. I've never seen drum following I've never seen drum following either. There was definitely, there was three or four fish following me. They're just stacked up over there. There's so much darker down in this area. Yeah, that water's dark. One quick tip when you start catching black drum or if you go to a spot that you think has black drum, Go to a smaller shrimp, don't use a big shrimp, especially November, December, January when the water's cold. They don't prefer a big shrimp. They like a small shrimp, or if you only have big shrimp, cut them in half and just use a piece. So remember, when you're fishing for black drum, use a smaller bait. Okay, so when you're fishing for black drum, it's not this one, okay? <laughs> it's this one. That's a better bait. Smaller is better sometimes. 
You got a horse there, brother. Yep. That's like what I had then it rocked me. Uh-oh. Just like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Laura. Look at that, my brother. <laughs> yeah. Look at that horse. Look at that. Unbelievable. You got a bow down board? Nope. Nice. Watch your fingers. Oh, yeah, on. I am. I'm trying to get in there. you go. That's what's still, yep. Goliath grouper. First how one I've ever caught. How about that? Ever. How about under the 312 bridge? Yep. That's a beauty. Look how thick he is. Yeah, isn't he beautiful? He's that thick. Wow. Beautiful that is fish. Awesome. Thanks. Come on, brother. Let's go. Put this off, bro. Never know, buddy. Underneath those bridges. Nice catch, Kevin. Thanks, bro. All right, Mike, what we haven't been telling Craig is that we have a secret ingredient for catching the fish Kevin and I have been bringing in, and that's real Sargento cheese right on the tip of the jig head. So I'm going to finally let him in on it so he can catch some fish. Are you sure this is going to help me catch fish? <laughs> well, that was an awesome day. I got to tell you, that was the, the, the best 40th birthday I'm ever going to spend. Thank goodness <laughs> it's the only one, but that was a great day. And we caught a lot of different type of species we of did. fish. That was a fun time. We did. You know, we... Um, Obviously, the, the redfish bite was, was amazing, but to this day, that's the only Goliath grouper I've ever caught inshore. Yeah. Um, and, and to, you know, on a little tiny spinning rod, you know, because we're used to catching trout and stuff like that's that. That's right. But, but to catch a 14, 16 pound Goliath grouper inshore was cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. We, we had a fantastic day. That was November, folks. I got to tell you, the, the fall and winter in, in Northeast Florida is fantastic weather. Please come down and see us and continue to join us every week for more adventures with Tales from the Outdoor Show. We'll see you next Saturday. We'll see you next week for more angling action on Tales from the Outdoor Show.